doing the front and rear differential on the 2016 Ram 1500. Okay, you can see here that I am removing or loosening the top and bottom uh, plugs that are on the front differential. It is a 14 millimeter Allen head uh, plug. So an important thing is don't remove the bottom plug, that is the drain. If you remove the top one, which is the fill port, so make sure you can remove that one or get it loose before you do the bottom one because if you drain all the fluid and you can't get the fill plug up you're going to have big problems. So you can see here I'm just going ahead and remove it. I've already removed the top one, got the bottom one out and get a really nice flow into the uh, catch can. Uh, just going to let it drain for a few minutes and I'm going to be filling this up with Amsoil Severe Gear 75 W90 gear loop. You can see a bottle sitting there, and as well as what's the new Easy Packs, which these things are great. Yeah, you just cut the tip off, remove the seal, squeeze it, and it'll just flow right in. And, and like unlike the older bottles and stuff that were problematic. So while this drained, I went ahead and removed the mid skid plate, and you can see the front skid plate there, and that's the skid plates for the the engine uh, front differential as well as the uh, transfer case which I'm going to be doing the transfer case and transmission fluid but those will be in different videos so I'm going to go ahead and close up the drain here and get ready to fill the differential up You can see here is much better view of the fill port as well as the drain there on the bottom left of the transfer or the excuse me the front differential. So there's the easy pack going in. You can see just squeeze it in and it uh, flows really good depending on how open you make the tip and it'll uh, pretty much empty out this entire bag and that's what it is. It's a pretty heavy duty bag. You just squeeze it in and let it flow because it is so flexible you can roll it up get it all in there and it pretty much takes care of all the fluid in the bag didn't realize how much I had overfilled it so I had to let it drain out until it got down to the level just below the uh, opening and then wipe it up cl uh, close the uh, fill port and the front door okay so now since it's a drip we will cap this and call the front differential good
front diff complete. Okay, for the rear differential, there is no drain plug. So what I'm going to be doing is I just remove the plug, which is just a rubber uh, plug that goes into the hole. And we'll be using an extraction pump, which you can see here. I'm getting the hose loaded, lined up. And uh, just it's an easy one. Just uh, increase the pump pressure, and it will start drawing it out. As you can see here, I've got the pump uh, pumped up and it's extracting the fluid. I'll be adjusting the uh, hose just to make sure that it gets down to the very bottom of the differential to get as much of the fluid out of there as possible. You can see here I changed the angle of the uh, tube and I'm just checking to make sure I've got vacuum still going and just making sure I've got all the fluid out of there as much as possible. Based on the amount I've pulled out, just had a little bit in here, so it is right at about four quarts, and I know I didn't have too much in here. It's 4.4 pints, which is two, a little over two uh, quarts. So looks like we've pulled out at least, you know, as much out of there right now. It's just uh, very little coming out of fluid. So I'm going to go ahead and call that done and we'll get ready to pump in the M's oil 
severe gear 75W140 into the rear differential of the Ram. Yeah, that uh, that's a new product that Namsel uh, put out, started putting about eight months ago. Okay. It's called the Easy Pack. Uh huh. So uh, most of the uh, gear lube now is that's all only way you can get the gear lube. Okay. Uh, and they've got uh, transmission fluid coming out with it now too. Okay. And uh, a big, you know, big market uh, just come out with uh, was for like ATVs, UTVs. The same thing in the gear pack, uh, the uh, gear loop for it, as yeah. well as the transmission for the new. It, it makes service and nice, man. You don't have a problem. Right? Oh yeah, because this and you just if, on the front. I'll have uh, that's where I'll use it. You just uh -huh. kind of roll that. You know, roll it up, squeeze it up, and uses pretty much everything in the bot in the bottle in the pack. Yeah. Yeah. Like this pump is the M's old pump, and it works really good, but still. No, oh, please. Yeah, you got a little bit left in there. <laughs> oh, it wouldn't be the first time I've uh, had corn sitting there doing something and uh, drain the one quart draining into the neck. Right. I've got a little uh, uh, system I made. It's a diagram for it, I think, on a Family Handyman. Take a PVC, like two inch, three inch PVC, whoop, and then uh, you put a uh, Y's in it, uh -huh. you know, however many you want to do, I did five, and then a Y at the bottom, and on that Y, there's a, you do a reducer to like a one inch, Okay. and then you put a, a, a little bit of one inch on one end, and then the other ones, you just leave the Y open. These bottles fit perfectly, you just dump them in, it drains down, and on the other end with that one inch, you drain it into a catch bottle. Uh -huh. Just drain it all down, I use it in my, uh, Cans, the you know my oil cans, just to squeeze a little bit out on yeah. doing a gear, uh, bearing or something like that. Everything is drained out. Yeah, that's kind of like we do with our, our bucket over there on top of the oil tank. Yeah. And actually, if we do that. Paul uses it for oil change on some of the old stuff. Yeah, I've done it uh, with uh, some of my. Uh, other oil, if I need, you know, like the 130 or the 530, you know, uh -huh. I'll drain that into one and I use that on one of the cars. Yeah. But, uh. Well, I used oil, uh, salvage oil like that, uh, yeah. in my S10 for quite a while, but it, it had three, 300,000 miles on it. It, it, it didn't care what you put in it. <laughs> it just wanted it something. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a uh, brake cylinder uh, compressor? I'll throw that out. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I wonder how busy the fitness club was today. Do they have something going on? <laughs> oh, is that where was a water outage affecting them? Uh, no. Uh, that's where everybody that lives on Eagle Drive has to go to take a shower. Oh, is that it? Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, I saw a thing about the uh, water 
Yeah, uh, they've, got that, they've got all that shut off, and they're, they're talking 1800 tonight before they get it up and running. Oh, wow. And I got a notice across my computer screen uh, from Command Post that if anybody needs water, uh, come to the fitness center. Uh, if you're taking a shower, bring your own uh, towel. Right. Well, it makes sense. Uh, my wife and I did that for almost a week a few years ago when our well froze. Yeah. Well, I, I know uh, Julie did it when I was down in Vegas still, and the uh, pump went out. We had to replace the pump. But the two other people that were there that were on my well were, well, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I says, well, I've got a two-gallon uh, container I can let you use for potable water, and it was a it was a regular water bottle. Right. And I gave it to him, and he started complaining, well, I don't have water, I don't have water. And I said, well, where's the water bottle I gave you? Oh, I threw it away. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How dumb. <laughs> I <laughs> know. Well, you come up with some more containers, and I'll fill them up for you. Right. And I would transport water in the back of my pickup every day. Wow. Okay, officially, that is pretty much the differentials complete. I uh, see I was using a pump on the old bottles, but here's a picture of the Easy Pack Severe Gear 75W140 that Amsoil has. So, like I'd mentioned in this part of the video, pretty much all the gear lube is now available or only available in the Easy Packs. A lot of other uh, transmission fluids, as well as I mentioned, the UTV ATV uh, fluid is available in the Easy Packs. Oil is still going to go the same way because with the old bottle style because uh, that just makes it easier for oil but with gear lube as you can see a lot of times it can be a lot more challenging so I've used it on a couple other ones and it works perfect